Hey yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another reaction video. My name is Jesse Keegan and today we're gonna do another amazing reaction video. And this one right there was suggested by someone in the comment section below. A couple of guys actually. They say that I should go react to Big Wolf coming after six signs. End signs 2023. So without any further ado guys, let's get it. Towards the end of times, the Muslims and the Romans will form an alliance against a third party. Now this is very atypical from the other ahadith because all the other ahadith mention what? That the Romans on one side and the Muslims on the other side. Correct? So, in my humble opinion, and Allah knows best, these ahadith apply at the beginning of the Armageddon. Things are going to happen where Muslims and Romans will ally with one another. And then that alliance will be destroyed only to get worse and worse until the Mahdi and the Jal and Isa come. And Allah knows best. And during this time frame, people would convert from the Roman side to the Muslim side. What are these ahadith of this <laughs> alliance and treaty? And also these are authentic simple. hadith. Uh, this hadith is in uh, Abu Dawood. That Awf ibn Malik al-Ashji'i said, I visited the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam during the battle of Tabuk, when he was in the battle of Tabuk. And his tent was made out of leather. So I sat in front of the tent. The Prophet ﷺ gave me permission. He said, come in, ya Auf. So Auf came. The Prophet ﷺ said to Auf, oh Auf, count six things before judgment will happen. He gave a prediction. Number one, mawti, my death. Auf said, as soon as I heard that, I was shocked and saddened. SubhanAllah. The first sign of judgment day is the death of the Prophet ﷺ. Number two, he said, Fatu Bayt al the conquest of Maqdis. Has that happened? Yes, in Abu Bakr's time. And when he said this, it was impossible to even think of Bayt al Maqdis being in Muslim lands. Wallahi, it is one of the biggest miracles of the truth of Islam that our Prophet predicted these things and they took place within a year after his death. A year after his death, Bayt al Maqdis is conquered. One of the most unexpected historical turns for Western historians is the rise of Islam. It is inexplicable. They cannot explain it. How could a group from their perspective of ragtag Bedouins come and disrupt human civilization, destroy the Sassanid Empire, carve out the Byzantine Empire, create a civilization that was even more glorious than the both of those previous ones combined? They don't understand how that happened. So for us, our Prophet said, number two, it will be the conquest of Jerusalem. Number three, a plague that will come amongst you and destroy your children and your wealth and property and it will purify your good deeds. Number four, wealth will be distributed amongst you so much that if a person is given 100 dinars, he would not be happy. The Sahaba were very poor. One dinar was a big deal. A hundred dinars was a fortune to them. And we are now at a time when a hundred dinars was, yeah, okay, no big deal. We're, we're at this time now. Number five, there will be a fitna, a trial that will not leave any of your houses except that it will touch it. And then number six, and this is what we're interested in. Number six, there will be a treaty between you and the Romans. And then they will betray you and march against you with 80 banners under each of which will be 12,000 troops. In other words, a hundred thousand people. This hadith is in Ibn Majah. Another hadith mentions that you will form a treaty with the Romans and you will fight an enemy common to both of you. Then you will be victorious. And as you are returning back, one of the Romans will raise the cross on a mount and say, this has caused us victory. And a Muslim will get angry and destroy that cross, say Allah has caused us victory. And war will break out and the Romans will break their truce. And then this incident of marching against you will take place. So these are only two or three hadith about this. That's it. But they predict another genre of predictions. And that is, there will be a third enemy. Who is that third enemy? Allahu A'lam. But it's neither the Muslim peoples nor the Europeans. There is another power on the rise. May Allah protect us from all of them as well. But anyway, this Allah knows whether that power will be the actual one. So there will be a third race, a third group of people. You and the Romans will join hands in fighting them. And there will be an alliance between you. And you will be victorious. Once that enemy has gotten rid of, then 
the Romans will essentially break their treaty with you because of this minor skirmish where a Muslim said, no, it's not the cross and he destroys the cross. And it's between two people, but the Romans will take that as an excuse to destroy the treaty. And they will then attack you. They will march against you with 80 banners. Now, many of our modern scholars say this is must be a reference to the modern United Nations or whatever. I say, Allahu Akbar. 80 flags on one side. Every flag has a major 10, 12,000 people. That's a major war. So this is another prediction of a great Armageddon that will take place. Interesting. Um, yeah, so all this, say, all this that has been said now has been kind of written down and um, has been and we are seeing we are seeing what is happening at the moment. There's so much tension between countries and so much tension between uh uh, people themselves, you know, we know what is happening in Palestine. We know about the Hamas group that is trying to attack, um, which is attacking, is it uh, the Israelis and whatnot? So the thing is, Israel, according to my understanding, I was listening to a podcast, and one of the guy was saying that Israel was created by an entity, and that entity is the one that like quote unquote kind of destroying the um the Palestine and whatnot. And it's um they have allies with them and that's where we bring in the United States and the UK, all these Western countries, they are allies with Israelis. So, you know, and it's really really easy living in these times where we actually see war in front of our eyes and we can't do anything. We can't just go, we can't like separate it at a go, you know, because why is it taking too long? You're telling me that they cannot just, these people out there cannot just sit down and um, amicably solve the entire issue about what is happening around. Because at the end of the day, it's the innocent children that are dying, the innocent people who are dying. And it begs to answer a lot of questions, quite like, are then uh, like questions like are they really trying to depopulate the planet by creating these wars because when war is being formed we start seeing people dying and a lot of people die in a war and whatnot what we see in the television that's just the maybe a third of what we see if they tell us probably like ten thousand people died maybe it's like triple that amount so where are the people why are they not telling us uh so and so are they not telling us the actual numbers again we tend to believe what we see on television and i'm not a fan of subscribing to any television network that uh, gives us news you know especially the mainstream medias they can be really really saving and they can be really giving us some actual lies on what is happening on ground you know so you have to have a level of discernment and you needs to be really, 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 really good to be able to like just look at every situation and come up with a positive, positive truth, you know. But again, we can't, um, we don't know really, unless we, are, unless we are there to see what exactly is happening in Israel or Palestine, that's when you can be able to come up with a discernment. But right now, we really don't know. We have just been shown on the news that this is what is happening there. But again, uh, let's not forget that all this has been written down. Some people knew that it will come to this point where countries are going to fight each other. Religions are going to be formed and two religions are going to fight. Just like the way this video has just been explaining to us where the Romans and the Muslims will come together. And then when the Romans put the cross up, when now Muslims kind of destroy the cross. I don't know if it's the Muslim or what. And that's when the Romans are going to re retract back. And most probably it's going to become a big war. Maybe a religious war or something. Are we going to experience this in our lifetime? Maybe, maybe not. But I'm thinking it's just too soon. It's very soon. Either 2023 or 2024. Or in between 2023 and 2030. Yeah, in between that. And um, another thing is that, you see, when we are in a 
in a war zone or maybe when we are in a position where we no longer have a say, we no longer have to do anything. We are just waiting for the top people to go in and find a solution for us. It's very dangerous. We as a collective, what can we do to stop what is happening out there? You know, do we have the power to stop what is happening or is the elites that are up there that they're the ones who can be able to uh, stop all this? Of course, they can stop all this, but they are dragging all this matter to a point where they want to create even a bigger war. Are we going to see a bigger war? Definitely, the bigger war is coming. If the people don't realize that they have more power than the elites, the elites is only 1% of, of them and we are like more than them, you know, and it's, 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 really, it's really, really bad when you look at things that way, that we have the power, but we can't stop them, you know, yeah. So anyway, guys, just let me know in the comment section, what do you think about this video over here? Big go coming after six signs. And let me know about the six signs. Do you think the six signs are really true? I believe that anything that was written down is going to come to pass. Some of these things actually are being orchestrated, you know. People wrote these things down and they are following the script according to how it was written. But again, um, God has a plan for us. And I believe that maybe this is the plan that God had already written it down and he wants it to go according to what is happening at the moment. But what we need to do is just uh, stick together, let's pray and hope that the best will come out of all this. Anyway, guys, just let me know in the comment section what do you think. If you have any kind of suggestion, just let me know in the comment section below. I'll be willing to do any kind of reaction. And for the people who haven't subscribed, please just make sure to subscribe.